We are at Hard Schlock Stadium, home of the Crack Engine in Diami, Florida. A city where the temperature is over 100 and the IQ is in the low teens <laughs> at best. Then don't poke fun at the fans. They're loyal. Therapists call it delusional. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The New York Threats take on the Diami Krakens. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? Because I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Briggs, do you smell something burning? Ah, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oh, bah! Uh-huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take your shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. First down! And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Gotta keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Nice pick. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, they didn't taste so good. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. No, I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. Just a great run for a touchdown. <laughs> now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Second down and long. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven.
First and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. And that play went nowhere fast. No game. Third down and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self down but he seems to have worked through it. comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step arena from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. Oh, he just got crushed. First and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. And that'll bring up third and one. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down the entire touchdown! Never get into a dance-off with a robot. They're programmed to perfectly execute dance moves with just the right amount of sass. impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond oh that's a vicious hit and the crowd loves it he just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me and you can't hit a guy much harder than that and that is unfortunate was an all-pro NFL hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. And this game is up for grabs.
taken down in a very lot. First and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. Freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. way to keep the chains moving that was beautiful and it's first and ten first down he hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy low hands nose it's a mare in lost wages nevada First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a boom! family reunion. I'm surprised no one uses the electric carving knife anymore, Rick. I did it. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. They're getting on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a saw block running on this asshole. Since when is that a penalty? Since 
comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get the return man catches the ball and heads up field. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Dick's hotel bar the other night. His hair was perfect. Better watch out. He'll rip your lungs out, Bricks. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Oh, the strawberry field's dirty trick. As my mentor Hunter used to say, I don't advocate drugs, alcohol, narcotics, or insanity to anyone, but they've always worked for me. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. scrimmage so is that cheerleader and with one timeout remaining the defense has to get something going here you know sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back and he booted a high arcing rainbow and he snags the punt and looks and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point and a well-placed cleat And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and ten. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to... Th and they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of We're talking about the MFL, you boy. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we 
take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm going to go to a strip tease show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. He picks up 10 yards on that play. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And a hard run there, picks up the first down. And it's first and 10. Passing game picking up some steam, a gain of seven there. Second and three. Ouch! What is this, Annie's wrestling? And it's first and ten. First down and three. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Grim, but it keeps coming back to him. Second down and more than the QB would like. Third down and long. Either the quarterback sack count is too high or his push up count is too low. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. First down! This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can, Grim. I don't even think he knows what a first down is. First down and one. And this guy is super, and then he jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. He's at the 40, the 30, the 20. He's at the 10. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. And I think he's more of a donut guy than a speed thing, Grim. He's running from his team, it's clear. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. He's at the 20, the 10. Here comes the defense. Touchdown! He takes it to the house on the kickoff return and scores. Man, what a play. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down and long. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, throw me. Oh, what the brutal. 
little hit. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in palm cream. That cross pitching, unbelievable. Oh, nice hit. You can put a pitchfork in this guy because he's done. And now the Brown Screw is going to use a pitchfork to toss him onto the mute meat wagon. Hey, I could have, wouldn't it make more sense to use a spatula? Yeah, good point. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Man, this guy just blew up and he's on fire. I'm not talking about one of those video game fire modes. I mean, literally, he's like burning bacon down there. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. Was a great throw and a great catch. Yeah, but you ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Your world. You understand me, Junior? I wreck your world. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down and ten. And chainsaws really have a way of extending the red zone. point attempt straight through the uprights the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond Second 
just slice through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That'd be fantastic. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. And it's first and ten. Two minutes remaining in the game. We'll be right back, folks. Jeez, can this game take any longer? I got a date with Hot Wanda after this. Junior, I told you that girl's nothing but trouble. And I don't think that's a move on her lip either. Ball man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. Third down and eight. The defense calls a second time out. They really need to make a stop here. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move him back. He's got the ball now, and he's going to try and score. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? Second down and a lot. Oh, he just got crushed. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. This is the game. They're going to need to pick up a first down here or limp home losers. And he 
he's off to the oh man you know they train those things to eat only visiting players but when they're hungry they'll eat anything yeah sometimes i eat my toenails And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. Diamond Crackens lose it home. And that stings worse than a jellyfish in your swim trunks. Oh, I love peanut butter and jellyfish sandwiches, Grim. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Yeah. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Newton Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.